Hi guys, hope you're all okay. Today I'm going to read you the story The Day of the War Came by Nicola Davies. It's a thought-provoking story all about the day this little girl went to school and the war came. I hope you enjoy it. The Day of the War Came There were flowers on the window sill, and my father sang my baby brother to sleep. My mother made my breakfast kissed my nose and walked with me to school. That morning, I learned about volcanoes. I sang a song about how tadpoles turn at last to frogs. I drew a picture of a bird. Then, just after lunch, war came. At first, just like a spattering of hail, a voice of thunder. Then all smoke and fire and noise that I didn't understand. It came across the playground. It came into my teacher's face. It brought the roof down and turned my town to rubble. I can't say the words that tell you about the blackened hall that had been my home. All I can say is this. War took everything. War took everyone. I was ragged. Bloody. All alone. I ran, walked over fields and roads and mountains in the cold and mud and rain, rode on the back of trucks and buses, went on a boat that leaked and almost sank, then up a beach where shoes lay empty in the sand. I ran until I couldn't run. Until I reached a row of huts and found a corner with a dirty blanket and a door that rattled in the wind. But war had followed me. It was underneath my skin, behind my eyes and in my dreams. It had taken possession of my heart. I walked and walked to try to drive war out of myself, to try and find a place it hadn't reached. But war was in the way that doors shut when I came down the street. It was in the way the people didn't smile and turned away. I came to school. I went I inside in through the window. My footsteps I had learned in the all hall. about volcanoes, singing I and drawing the doors. And faces turned towards me. But the teacher didn't smile. She said, there is no room for you, you see. There is no chair for you to sit on. You have to go away. Then I understood that war had got here too. I turned around and went back to the hut. The corner and the blanket and crawled inside. It seemed that war had taken all the world and all the people in it. The door banged. I thought it was the wind. But a child's voice spoke. I brought you this, he said, so you can come to school. It was a chair. A 
chair for me to sit on and learn about volcanoes, sing and draw birds and drive the war out of my heart. He smiled and said, My friends have brought theirs too, so all the children here can come to school. Out of every hut a child came, and we walked together, on a road all lined with chairs, pushing back the wall with every step. <laughs>